Storm dropped a lot of snow on the mountains, leading to those dangerous conditions we just saw. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks live in Little Cottonwood Canyon with more on the impact it's having up there today. Haley. That's right, you guys. I am up here in Little Cottonwood Canyon, and there's more than a foot of fresh fallen snow. But check out all of this snow that's around me already. Now, earlier today, that fresh fallen snow did stop traffic. Drivers turned away. And UTA buses full of skiers, snowboarders, stopped at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon for nearly two hours. It sucks because we want to go skiing. We understand that the road's closed, but they're going to let buses up. So we're waiting to go up there and uh, ski uh, some bunny hills. I'm up here on a bus, flew in from Chicago, you know, trying to enjoy the weather. And uh, my brother was saying that they got some great snow out here, and so we surely do. We can't get up the mountain right now. Waiting for the Utah Department of Transportation crews to create controlled avalanches and clear the roads of slush and snow to keep winter enthusiasts and drivers safe. And while it was a long wait for those at the bottom, they say it's worth it to keep safe. Well, it's a safety issue. I don't want to get swept off the mountain. So, you know, it's worth the wait. And, uh, you know, we're out here to have a good time safely. For those of you headed up Little Cottonwood Canyon over the weekend, UDOT officials say there's no plans for, for road closures, making your travel time much faster. Reporting live in Little Cottonwood Canyon, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Haley. And this